So I wanted to take a minute to go through how I am using my Linux computer, some of the problems that I have with it, and my thoughts comparing it to a MacBook Pro. So I wanted to start with the fact that I have, for the last two months, I have not touched my MacBook Pro. Um, I have forced myself to use nothing but the Linux computer just to see exactly what's missing and, and what are the problems that I'm having. So I've done another video comparing the hardware between the, the, the uh, Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Extreme um, I've got the HD monitor on the thing, the 4K monitor. Um, and then I've also got a docking station on this uh, notebook with two uh, big uh, curved monitors that are hooked to it. And it is awesome. It is a, it is a beautiful setup. Um, so the problems. Um, the, the first problem that I have with the Lenovo, and, I, and, and I'm not sure if this is a Lenovo problem or if it's a Linux problem. I'm suspecting it's probably a driver problem in Linux. Um, but if I unplug the docking station and close the computer, there's two things that are going to happen. Um, and it's pretty, pretty regular. Um, the first thing is, is the computer is not going to go into suspend mode like it's supposed to it will keep running in the background, which means that if I just close the computer and stick it in my bag, by the time I get home, the battery is going to be dead and it's going to be hot as a firecracker. So I've resorted to, to having to shut the thing down every time I leave to go home. Um, that is a, a huge pain, but it's not really that big of a pain given the fact that the thing boots up in about 12 to 15 seconds. So it's, it's really not a huge deal, um, but it is something that I wish I could just close the computer. The second thing that's going to happen is that if I were to open the computer back up and plug my monitor, my docking station back into the computer, my monitors are not going to work properly. I can't, I can't figure out how to get Linux to display properly on the two monitors. It, it treats them all as one big desktop and nothing that I've ever, uh, that I've been able to do has, has gotten that, that working properly. So those are the bad things. Um, the Lenovo, the battery on the thing is absolutely horrendous. I might get an hour and a half, two hours of battery life out of it. Um, but having said that, I do have the 4K monitor on it, which I'm not sure that, you know, if I were to buy another one, I'm not sure that I would actually go that route. I, I may just get the, the normal uh, monitor. But other than that, the, the Linux experience has been unbelievable uh the computer the keyboard having actual ports on the computer can you imagine apple uh, a computer that actually allows you to plug things into it um i am completely fed up with the macbook and the dongle and the keyboard um, and i'm not even talking about the keyboard on the macbook from the perspective of the membrane problem i'm talking about it is the worst typing experience that i have ever experienced um, it's worse. I, I tell you what, it's worse than, and I don't have, um, I don't know what, I, oh, here it is. Um, it is worse than this. Um, th this is the flat uh, keyboard that Apple sells that evidently they're only capable of creating shit when it comes to keyboards. Um, but the, the MacBook types worse than this little thing. Um, in fact, I use that keyboard sometimes just so I don't have to touch the keyboard on the MacBook. But having said that, I wanted to go through a few things that I am using in Linux that has completely replaced my workflow in, uh, in the, uh, on the MacBook. So the first thing is Caden Live. Um, I was using Final Cut Pro, um, and I kind of switched over to, uh, I've tried Adobe Premiere. I went over to Final Cut Pro because it's a lot faster and, and kind of easier to do things on, on the Mac. Um, and then I've now switched over to Caden Live. Now, Caden Live in no respect is comparable to Final Cut Pro or Premiere. I mean, those two programs do so much more than Caden Live that it, it's kind of crazy. But from the perspective of 99% of us that are actually doing you know, basic videos, we're just cutting and, and pasting things together and, and getting, you know, merges between slides, add music, those kind of things. Um, Caden Live is absolutely 100% capable of doing all that stuff. And in, uh, in my honest opinion, I can process a video faster in Caden Live 
as far as putting it all together than I can in Final Cut Pro. Um, I just, I like the, you know, keeping my, my clips. I hate the way Final Cut Pro gives you a, a whole timeline of all your clips all together and you're trying to figure out which clip is which thing and it's just, it, I hate it. Um, but Caden Live is a lot easier to deal with all that stuff. It's, it's pretty fast putting the thing together. Um, the export on it versus Final Cut Pro, I, I would say they're, they're fairly comparable. I haven't actually timed them doing the exact same uh, video. I might do that in a, a future video, but overall Caden Live rocks. It, it, it really does a good job and I've not had a single time that I thought that, you know, well, you know, hell, I wish I was back on my Mac because I can't do X. Um, it, it just, it works really well. Um, and so the next question is my photo editing. Um, so on the photo editing, I am using, let's see where the, I think it's up here, uh, dark table. So dark table, I'm going to pull it down here. Um, dark table is what I've been using for my, my photo editing and stuff. Um, it, you know, it, when I was on my MacBook, I'm using Adobe Lightroom. Um, this thing is absolutely as capable as using Adobe. I, I've really, I haven't had any issues with this program at all. It, it's done everything I want to do. It's got, you know, nice filters and, and everything that I primarily did in, in Lightroom. Um, I don't do a whole lot of process, post-processing on my photos. I, I, you know, clean them up a little bit, crop some, but, you know, I don't get totally crazy. But um, this thing seems to me just as capable as Adobe Lightroom. So I, I've got no, no problems with this program at all. Um, now, obviously in l being in Linux, all of my, my, uh, shells and, and because I do a lot of programming, I do a lot of, uh, server maintenance. So, you know, this is, this is Linux. So in all my servers are Linux. So it, as far as SSHing into boxes and doing all that kind of stuff is it's a dream in, in this thing. Um, I'm using, uh, we use, uh, pigeon for, for our tech, our chatting back and forth. That works awesome. The email program that I've, I've been using, I, I just went back to Thunderbird. Um, I've tried a few other, uh, ver brands of email programs, but none of them really works that well. Uh, Thunderbird's been the most consistent for me. I'm using Zoiper for my VoIP uh, uh, telephone calls and stuff. Um, it it is pretty solid. I haven't had a whole lot of problems with it. So overall, the experience has been bar none. I, I've I have uh, very very little. In fact, I, I can't even think of the last time that something has crashed on the computer. Um, everything works. Now I will say that the the sound quality on this Lenovo box. Um, they should take whoever worked on that and fire them. Um, I don't even know why they say they have sound. They might as well give you a headset to plug into the headphone jack um, because the sound on here is horrendous. So, you know, that aspect of it is, is worse on here. The trackpad on the Lenovo is, it, it is not bad. I've kind of gotten used to it. Um, does it compare with the trackpad on the Apple no computer compares with the trackpad on a, on an Apple. I don't care if you're a big Windows guy or not. Um, you couldn't find me a Windows box that has a better trackpad than a MacBook Pro. Um, but, you know, I, I don't use it that much. I, I mainly try to use a mouse and a, and a mechanical keyboard because I, I usually don't really like any of that stuff on the, on the notebook. But when you're out of the office and need to type on something, the Lenovo is a thousand times better than the MacBook Pro. The screen looks really good. Um, again, battery life sucks. Um, the speed of the computer has been has been you know pretty good. I, I really I don't notice that much difference between the speed of this thing and the speed of the MacBook Pro. So I, I can't say that you know which one's better because I, I don't really do a lot of benchmarking. I, I'm really more interested in my experience when I'm using the computer and, and I've had, you know, no laggy situations where I'm having to wait on this thing to do anything. So overall it, it's been really, really good. Um, so 
anybody that and and by the way i'm using linux mate um for the for the desktop environment um so it's you know i i've i, I really like it it's been pretty much bug free i've had no no real issues other than what i mentioned with plugging the docking station and and the suspend mode um and those you know i really they don't bother me that much so Overall, would I recommend Linux as a possible replacement to Mac OS X? And absolutely. Um, I, I'm kind of personally blown away because I didn't think that I would be able to do this. I, I really did not think that Linux was, was even close to being able to replace my MacBook. Um, but between this hardware and, and the Linux experience with where they're at with Caden Live and, and all the other programs that are there now, um, I, I've really been blown away. It's been, it has been an awesome experience. Um, I am having to kind of switch back over to using my MacBook uh, because it looks like I'm, I'm going to be forced to get into iOS development, and the only way I can do that is to use the MacBook. So I am going to have to start using that thing again, but I don't want to. I, I really want to stick with with what I've got here and and use this uh, system. So, you know, I'm going to see if there's some other way that I can make this happen without having to carry a MacBook around with me all the time. But it's likely that that's going to be the route that I have to go. But anybody that's looking for Linux, it's ready. <laughs>